Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to record depreciation expense in QuickBooks. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University, and I want to make this as simple as possible uh, because recording depreciation expense is not the easiest thing. Well, actually, recording it in QuickBooks is easy, but figuring out how much to record is not the most simple thing. Okay, so most people most business owners during the year, they don't record depreciation. And, you know, I, I say that's fine because it's a non-cash expense, okay? So it's not really affecting your cash, um, but it is something that needs to be recorded. And then what happens is they give their QuickBooks to their CPA, their tax preparer, and the tax preparer figures out what the tax depreciation is and then tells them, make this big journal entry in December, and to record the full year of depreciation. Well, the only reason I don't like that is that uh, it records this big expense in December and doesn't spread it out throughout the year, okay? So when you're looking at your financial statements, you're gonna have this potentially big loss in December and it's just not reality, okay? So this is a way that you can record it throughout the year and, uh, have a little bit better read on your financial statements. Okay, so the first thing is, you know, when you record the purchase of a fixed asset, you have to uh, really understand what it is that you are buying. Okay, so again, and I've mentioned this in other videos, a fixed asset is something that's going to last you longer than a year. And so as a general rule of thumb, uh, well, one other thing too, also generally as, a, as a, a cutoff in the amount of a fixed asset, if it's less than $2,500 in general, just write it off as an expense. But if it's more than that, then put it as a fixed asset. Okay, so general, general guidelines. Any computer equipment, electronic equipment, or vehicles that you buy for the business are gonna be a, what's called a five-year asset, okay? So you're gonna depreciate it over five years. If it is furniture, like a desk or chairs, uh, filing cabinets, bookshelves, conference room tables, et cetera, it's gonna be a seven-year asset, okay? And if it's like a building or something, uh, you know, generally a building, it's going to be written off over 39 years. Okay. So let's use an example. Let's say that we purchase, and I had uh, done this in a previous video, where we purchased a stand up desk for $3,500. Okay. This one right here was put into the fixed asset uh, uh, item list. And we recorded this at $3,500, okay? So a really easy way to record depreciation and figure out depreciation on this is this is a piece of furniture. It's a stand-up desk. So we're going to uh, divide it by the number of months in seven years, okay? So I bring up a calculator here, and I say 7 times 12 for 12 months is 84 months. Okay, so 84 months, we are going to take that amount, $3,500, divide it by 84, and the monthly depreciation is going to be $41.67. We're going to round that up, all right? Relatively small amount, okay? But when you have all these assets, these amounts are going to add up, okay? So $41.67. Now, the easiest way to do this is to go in and record a journal entry. So we're going to go to company and make general journal entries. So we're going to say that the first, you know, I always put these, you can put them at the first of the month or the end of the month. <clears throat> we'll say the end of the month here. And you're going to first type in depreciation expense. This should be in your chart of accounts and it's gonna be 41.67. This is gonna be a debit, okay? This gets a little bit more into accounting, uh, but this is a debit, <clears throat> which means that we are increasing this expense. Then you can put in a memo, depreciation on stand up desk. Okay, if we have a class, we're gonna go ahead and assign the class. We're gonna put overhead. And then we're going to put 
accumulated depreciation because this is the tracking account that tracks how much accumulated depreciation. Okay. So you can see here, it's just accumulated depreciation, which is one account for all of the fixed assets. Okay. Going to be 4167, identical to that debit. Okay. So now here's the key to doing this. Okay. We want to memorize this transaction. We're going to put stand up desk <clears throat> depreciation. We're going to put automate transaction entry. How often? We're going to do this monthly. Next date is going to be 131. 2024 because it's one month after that number remaining 83 days in advance to enter if you want you can put a couple of days to in advance to enter you don't have to it can be on that date but number remaining is important because once we do uh, this first one is the first you know the first one in this sequence of 84 months and then we have 83 remaining we click OK it memorizes the transaction and we hit save and close. Okay. Well, let me go ahead and put an overhead here for the class. Okay. So now we have a memorized transaction that is recording this depreciation on a monthly basis. And if I go to my profit and loss, okay. So we see through December, 2023, we're going to see depreciation expense $41 and 67 cents. And now this will enter into QuickBooks automatically for every single month that we are depreciation depreciating this over seven years. Okay. So this can get a little bit complicated, but you want to make sure that you do this for each asset. If you're going to record depreciation in the financial statements, you calculate that monthly amount and then you put it in a journal entry and, and memorize it so that automatically records every single month. Okay. All right. So any questions on this? Uh, please feel free to leave comments below. I know that uh, this can get a little bit complicated, so definitely feel free to ask. Also, head over to the QuickBooks University. I'd love to teach you about QuickBooks over there. Become a member, uh, and you get all sorts of benefits. The website is qbuniversity.org.